Welcome back traders, it's Shane from Global Market Trader. I'm going to take you through our trader self-assessment guide. We're going to walk you through basically what we do on a daily basis to track our performance. Let's just go go through how the trade trader self-assessment is set up. It's a rating between 3, 2 and 1. So 3 is a successful rating, number 2 performed the rating appropriately and number 1 is that you failed on that particular element of the trade plan. The tally for the day, so each day is tracked, it should take you about 5, 8 minutes to complete the uh, self-assessment. Based on each of the sections we've got uh, daily preparation, psychology, the financial component, your trade execution, learning and development and then we, uh, we have a tally at the end which we're looking at a total number of 153. So the closer we get to 153 the better. We've got a rating here between poor, average, good, very good excellent and exceptional. What we're looking to do is just get anywhere above uh, the very good zone really for our daily trade execution, the higher the better. So let's go through and look at uh, how I performed today on the SPY. So our first rating, as we said, a 3 to a 1. One was reviewing a trade plan, I did that, so 3. View money management plan and position sizing, that was done. Go through my daily trading checklist, which I did. Trading on all of those, Italia 9. So trade psychology, I did my 10 minute visualization before I started the session. I started my session feeling relaxed and in a positive mindset. Now this is where we talk about our daily positive self-talk. Now we've spent all that time developing that back testing data and putting our trade plan together and getting that confidence in, in being able to trade and execute our system simulation are now in real time and what we need to make sure is that we continue that positive self-talk. These are the, some of the statements that we're looking to make in our during our trading day. So uh, the first one there is I objectively identify my edge on a daily basis. I pre predefine the risk on every trade. I completely accept the risk I'm willing to take on the trade otherwise I'll just let it go and I do that uh, daily and I did that today. I act on my edge without reservation or hesitation. So I'm taking the trades regardless of what happens. I know that if I stick to my plan and I execute according to my trade plan, I do that without any any type of hesitation. I continually monitor my susceptibility to making errors. And this this tool here will definitely pick up where potentially you're either making errors or there are things you're starting to miss out on. Or, and this should hopefully visually pick up on that with that uh, that zero rating. So the next thing is understand the absolute necessity of these principles of consistent success and therefore I never violate them. So I need to make sure that on a daily basis I stick to my trade plan. That is my number one focus. Uh, number Just sliding down the, uh, the page here. Uh, the market is a random and micro on a micro level. So we know that we're not trying to time the market. We've got a system that has an edge at a micro level. So basically, um, we are looking to we're looking to basically trade our system according to thinking probability. So I'm what I'm training myself to do here is to just be unshakable in my belief to become a consistent trader, and I do that every day by apply, applying my trade plan and just going through my trader self assessment. So I trade without feeling fear and I don't have any hesitation in pulling the trigger. I complete my sessions without feeling exhausted. I don't have any stress in my trading day, so I gave myself a three on that as well. I've, I don't ever go to the I don't care zone, so I'm always in control of my trading day. I record my self-talk during the session. Now, uh, we need to identify, number one, that we ident we've identified the self-talk during the session, and number two, we just go down the bottom here. Just sorry for the... Uh, jumping here but basically this is where we record our self-talk which is our comments area traders self-talk we've got a special section for that so I did record my self-talk today just below there you can see if I slide this across I basically had good positive self-talk today making sure I followed the sleep eight hours a day making sure that I get my eight hours and I just didn't quite get the eight hours today or yes on the 25th and then spend time with my family and socialise, I did that, and daily exercise as well, 30 minutes plus a day, just to make sure that we're feeling fit, healthy, is making sure that uh, we record our daily financial profit and loss, so that is whether it's plus 150, zero to 150 or negative. Uh, we make sure that the trades executed according to our max risk per trade, so we don't want to breach that at all. Correct position sizing is critical. Trades logged on the spreadsheet and statement reconciled. Risk to reward 
for day needs to be at least one to one. Used our power of quitting or breaker, so whether we've taken our two winners and done or our two losers or we hit our time circle break, we need to make sure that we record that. So that was a yes. Uh, no preemptive trades, so there were no preemptive trades during the trading day and no big swings in profitability. All right now, trade execution this is critical. So, trade executed without hesitation, yes. Uh, we started at 10 o'clock, our finish time is 12.30. We always get in sync with the system prior to starting. Our trade is adjusted, adjustments are made around previous swing high and lows. Uh, we don't trade, no trades are taken five minutes before or after the news, We, as per the standard rules, so we did that. Now, after one successful trade, we're only allowed to take one, e one re-entry, so we need to make sure that that rule's applied and followed. No trades uh, when a key level or the directional is between entry and target. Using the power of quitting or circuit breaker. Our re reduced risk at 80%, so stop the break even, plus one point. And we allow trades to stop out using the reversal stop strategy. Now, stop and limit placed at entry of trade. So basically working that bracket order and we don't move our stop to allow the trade more, more room to be right. We never do that. And all trades are recorded in my journal. So we did that as well. Now the last part of this uh, exercise is to making sure that uh, we're reading books and magazines, just improving our knowledge on trading. Uh, these three things here, review the discussion board and review the Mastery Series videos. Unfortunately, I didn't get around to those three today, so I gave myself as... as and I did attend the live trading room and also networked with other traders, so three there. So ended up for the session 146. Now remembering our target is about the 153. So I've got a little bit of work to do, still above the 90%, which is great. I want to maintain that and just want to make sure that on a daily basis, that's the, uh, the target area for me. So goal here is just to make sure that we continually improve and assess the way we trade on a daily basis. So daily, weekly, monthly goal setting and this tool is really designed to help you visually see where potentially you may be falling down a little bit and I can see very quickly that I need to do a little bit of work on my continuing my learning and development area so missed it today so I've got to make sure that that doesn't become a little bit of a pattern there and I pick that up and, and make sure I rectify that as well so traders if you have a if you would like some more information on the trader self-assessment, please send me an email, shane at globalmarkettrader.com. And more than happy to, uh, to give you some more detail. Thank you for your time, everybody. Look forward to seeing you on our next update. Cheers.